perfect example of a unit that wasn't buffed specifically. His awakening was changed from a, I don't even remember what it was before, but it is now 15 extra speed, which puts him, uh, Lionel, the Water Seal Commander, at 113. This is the same exact unit as the Water Ezio, by the way. He's got the first skill, ignores all damage reduction effects. Second skill is a threat state and also a revenge uh, for an ally target. And the third skill, this is what he's... This is really why he needs the extra speed, is attacks all enemies to remove all beneficial effects. Afterwards, increase the attack bar of the ally with the highest attack bar by 25%, and the attack power of the ally with the second highest attack bar for two turns. So this would be really great with something like Shung Pung and a damage dealer, where Shung Pung is the one that's going to move next, so it boosts him up, so it strips with this. Boosts up Shung Pung so he can do his skill 3 and increase the cooldowns and uh, decrease the attack bars. And then the second highest attack gauge unit would be your damage dealer. And it would do like uh, Tashar or Leia or something else does big damage on or Alicia on top of that uh, defense. Well, actually, it's not a defense break unless Shung Pung procs, which he always does anyway. So G2 versus G2. Well, the unit can't be that bad if. Uh, Two G2 players are, well, not both of them are not picking him, but, uh, yeah, let's see. Alright, so strips, and then, who's getting the next turn? Nephthys, toxic Nephthys stuff. And big nuke. Well, he's not going to kill, but he's going to get another turn, and that's going to kill. GG. Of all the LD5s they could bring in. Veramos is the one. You know, that, that team on the right-hand side is fairly budget-friendly enough looking. Not super crazy. Okay. What does he strip? And who gets the increased attack bar? It's a beautiful combination. Well, it's the same, it's the same ones as uh, last time that would get the increased attack bar. It just goes by whoever has the highest attack gauge. Doesn't get much higher than this. G3 versus G2. Let's see who takes let's see who takes turn one indeed. Still has a 33 speed lead on the right hand side versus a 24. So does Ezio. He does. This wouldn't have been uh, take turn one. Um, so this wouldn't have been a question previously, since his base speed was 98. He was never gonna take a turn one uh, against that. You could put as no speed lead at one. I mean, it's still, you put a speed lead, but uh, that wouldn't have been even a question before. Now he actually gets turn one because 113 base speed huge difference not technically a buff just an awakening change but man that makes all the difference in the world awakening changes of speed uh, awakening into 15 it's generally 15 speed uh, or leader skill speed lead makes all the difference look at oliver that's that's all that's all we needed only one speed lead on the left hand side they only have one speed lead they ban, <laughs> of course, you ban up the speed lead. They didn't pick a second speed lead. All right. You get the shatter, tactical bomb. And then, let's see. Capture on Savannah is definitely going to, not only does it stun, but also, yeah, let's see. Feng Yan is going to be very frustrating. Let's see. Okay. Not dead though. Ethna is going to need to do some pretty nasty skill threes on that Feng Yan. Yep. She's ready for it. That's that's the only uh that's the only thing that's going to stop him. Is that... didn't even stri didn't even strip it. Oh my god. Didn't even strip it. So many buffs. So very many buffs. Interesting teams, though. Let's see. Let's see how much ignore defense they get with a Faye. Oh, Faye is not going to move any time this century unless they keep uh, Proc and Ragdoll's passive. So Faye is going to move right now, actually. All right. They take her down. They're going to proc that demon. Let's see. So I, I would assume that Nana was going to be the one that was uh, just a little bit faster than the Dark Onimusha. 
Nice. And revenge kills. This way they would have the AoE defense break with the dark, uh, with the Nana and then the attack power buff Dark Onimusha would come in and nuke. Cleave team versus a anti-CC bruiser team. So you knew that the Sean was uh, staying in because they had two things that were good against CC. They do still have things to proc T online though. New Chiwu buff. So Chiwu now does, uh, he works a little bit differently in terms of his mechanics and he also does a glancing debuff. And that Cigar actually is pretty nice against Cigar, Savannah, Triton, uh, Shongpeng, all nice against the Tianlang. So they're going for the Nana first. Personally, if it was me, of course, we always got to do backseat gaming. If it was me, I would have done this and that. I feel like I would have gone for the uh, monkey first because I feel like he would be less tanky. So, take him down faster. I'm, I think they might have just gone for the Nano first because the monkey had the glancing debuff uh, earlier and they wanted to... Man, I feel like this guy is not doing as much as he should be doing. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, but they didn't want to kill the monkey so that the monkey came back with the uh, without the glancing. So they wanted to keep that glancing on him. So they proc with the panda? Well, they get slip with the panda. Okay, that works. GG, I assume, unless the panda can somehow solo. Uh, you never know, it's Summoner's War. Really, you never know, because it's Summoner's War. Always, it's always a little scary. Goodness, this Chimera. Both teams going for fast control. Two speed leads, two units on Swift, I would assume. So who takes turn one is going to go to the right hand side because they have the speed lead. And let's see, let's see which one gets the... So Light Panda gets the attack power buff. All right. That... That happens, just happens to be the uh, attack, the turn order they had that in. I was not paying attention to who got cooled down. Clearly the uh, Dark Monkey was not cooled down. Isis was. All right, not enough to kill. Close though, close. CC'd. Let's see. We get to see the uh, the light OG though do her thing. She was recently buffed. Actually, a few of these units are recently buffed. Light OG, Fire Art Master, and the Water Etzio. Isis do her thing. Almost. Oh no, she does. She does. Nice. She's like, finally, I get to do things. Finally, I get to be part of the team. See, that's one of the spots where RNG, you don't know if it's gonna... The game could still go either way. Like, if the Occult Girl were to proc the sleep, get another turn, and keep going. She could have won the match! You don't know what she's gonna do after that. But, that is that is Summoner's War. Here we go. They're going for the control. I don't think we're gonna see an Antares here. Yeah, we're not gonna see an Antares here. Ooh, there's so many good... There's so many counters, though. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm rooting for the uh, Water Ezio, but I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. It could actually work. Let's see. They're, they're getting things. All right. That is a belt. That went better than I expected. <laughs> it was a uh, violent uh, Tiana. That would be hilarious. So there is no shortage of people using the Water Ezio in their matches, which is great. Is this? Did we see this person before? Just another person with the uh, Isis? I mean, maybe. Pairs well with Isis. Pairs well with uh, CC units. All procs into the serious matter. All right. They were hoping to do that, I'm sure, but... Uh, I would also imagine that they were hoping to... Uh, let's see. Strip the Josephine. They're hoping to strip the Josephine, I'm sure. Yeah, there's there's no there's no way Camille is soloing this. I shouldn't say that Camille can solo now. Oh, you never know. It's this game, you never know.